That is a hundred times better than the first one. At least. No, it's not. Ooh, that cheese. I'm gonna eat the rest of that later. But not with this. <laughs> Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we have a slightly terrifying <laughs> little episode to film. Yes, we do. And on a positive note, I kind of have a cold going on, which may affect my taste buds. <laughs> Lucky. I'm feeling better now. Uh, so yeah, we were at Aldi weeks ago, and we picked up this little number. This is a um, cheese pairing spread set. And I said to John, I don't think I've ever had cheese paired with jam or jelly. I know that's a thing. You see it on charcuterie boards and cheese boards, right? You see little I mean, jams I, I and guess. jellies. The only thing I've ever had that's even close to this is some people take like red pepper jelly and put it on cream cheese. Oh, yeah. That's like the you know, the closest jam. I've ever come. So we've got some interesting little spreads in here and it says on here what they're to be paired with. So let's so we do grab this together, some of right? those cheeses. Yes, everything from Aldi. All right. So how do I how do I get this thing open? Here we go. Ugh. There's one. And maybe we'll like them with cheese, but sometimes I like jelly on, you know, like baked on yeah you know like orange and chicken go well together whatever so we'll see if we want to re if we want to use the rest of them this way or in another way what do we have we've got apricot and cumin oh okay. cherry and rosemary pear and cinnamon cherry and rosemary that seems like something people would use like for duck maybe maybe i don't eat duck <laughs> So there's pear and cinnamon and then fig and honey. Okay. I can see all of these paired with meat as well. So I've never had any of these type of jams. Okay. You want to get the little plate? Ah. Plate. Got a spread knife here. Can we please do whatever's supposed to go with goat cheese first? Which one? Sometimes we save the worst to last, and I am a member of the Church of Eat the Frog. I've shared that video before. Maybe I'll have to share it again. It's do the thing that you don't want to do first, and then it's all smooth sailing from there. The, one, the one that sounds the worst to me is the blue cheese. But let's see. Fig and honey goes with goat cheese. Fig and Honey. Which seems desserty. <laughs> I've never ever had a fig and honey jam. I'll let you choose. This all sounds like torture, to be honest. All right, let me open the cheese window. I think I'm so yeah. triggered. If you missed the video, we bought goat cheese from Aldi that looked exactly like this, but it was gingerbread, eggnog, something else, and they were. Oh, Ribble. Horrible. Horrible. So okay. I almost feel like I can still taste it from weeks ago when we filmed that. Which one was? Oh, fig and honey. Fig and honey. Let's see the spread by itself. You know what it smells like? A fig noon. <laughs> it does. This smells good, actually. Okay. All right. So I assume we're going to get some cheese first. I'll make this for you, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm so curious if this is a thing that you do, if there's a specific, like, cheese and jam or jelly or spread or whatever that you you like to pair. I'm terrified. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 
Hmm. I don't mind it. Hmm. Tastes fancy. It does taste fancy. You should be eating this with a pinky out. Mmm. That's not bad. Here's what I'll tell you. It's the goat cheese of it all, I think, that I don't like. I think it's a good compliment to each other. I like this on its own a lot here. I really do. But they do pair well together. I, I understand why they put them together. Yeah. But I, I don't, that's not something I'm going to want to have again. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, clean off our implements here. I just, goat cheese is not it for me, I don't think. I don't know. Yeah, you know, not one for the goat cheese. All right. So, next. If we're, gonna, this, uh, if we're gonna eat the frog is the cherry and rosemary with blue cheese all right cherry and rosemary with blue cheese. let us know in the comments which of these combinations sound good to you all right that smells good also my hands are sticky how did that happen how do i open this thing mm -hmm. I don't think I love blue cheese. I am not very exper experienced with it though, but I'm pretty sure I like it better than goat cheese. How about I you? I don't think so. You don't think you do or you no, don't think I, don't, I do? I don't think that I do. I don't, I don't know about what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's crumbly. Yeah. Right, that's enough, right? Just that. That much? Y yeah. There you go. You gotta put the junk on it. Yeah, here's a, here's this. Oh, you're yeah. right-handed, huh? <laughs> you're just fighting that out. All right, go ahead and spread yours. I don't know about this one. I'm going first. I don't have ah, to look. You better. Hold this. are coming off. Whoops. That is a hundred times better than the first one. At least. No, it's not. It is for me. Mm -hmm. And I really like the jelly or the jam or the spread or whatever. Yes! Try this by itself. I could eat that with a spoon. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll get it here. All right. <laughs> Not with your mouth. <laughs> mm. See? Good. All right, smooth sailing. Brie From and... From here on out, right? Brie and cheddar. Brie and cheddar, even better together. All right, three. Wait, which of those two combinations did you like better? You liked the first one? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure the second one. The right. blue and the whatever that was, yes. Pear and cinnamon with brie. You know what it smells like? If you say baby food or whatever, what did you say the first time? I don't remember. Ooh, it smells like baby food. <laughs> I thought it smelled like, uh, I like applesauce kind of, but it's Oh, uh, yeah. All right, crackers. Do I like brie like this? I don't, do I? I don't even know. That's plenty. <laughs> there you what go. What the? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I like it. Smear, smear, smear. Yep. Swear, swear, swear. Pear and cinnamon with brie. 
Mr. Fancy Pants. I like the brie. I don't mind the pear with it, but I kind of want the cherry with that. Yeah. I almost um, think that I like the combination. Probably not with a cracker, though. You know? I don't love the cinnamon so much with it. But the cheese is good. Yeah. And I think this is good. Yeah. But I just don't know if I love them together. Right. All, All right. right. We've got some mature Irish cheddar cheese from Aldi. Yes, please. And we're going to try it with, what was the last one we got to do? I know. Apricot and cumin. Mm. Cheddar cheese. I don't know. Like that. Let's give us a little square. There you go. Thanks. A cracker for you. Thanks. And... Oh yeah, we can't forget about the, the jam. There you go. Oh, you you can smell. I can't smell anything. The cumin. <laughs> See, I I just like cheddar cheese and crackers. Why do I have to put this on it? To make it. Whoa! Make it fancy. Fancy. Cheers. Cheers. I haven't tasted a cumin right away. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that oh. cheese. I'm going to eat the rest of that later. But not with this. <laughs> Am I wrong? Nope. Mm. That's not bad, actually. It's not a bad pairing. No. I just like these so much better, just the cheese and the cracker. I mean, mature cheddar is like one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think it is our favorite. And so we just love it on its own. But with that apricot and cumin, that cumin actually goes really good with the mature cheddar. And uh, I barely got any apricot in it at all. I loved all of these spreads, but I want to have them on like toast or like i said on meat maybe like as like a glaze oh or something. A glaze would be great like the cherry yeah be really good on like beef yeah so i think we are going to use all of these up but if you have an idea for how we can use these or a way that you use jams or jellies in cooking let us know in the comments speaking of the comments that is where we always pin a comment where we put links to our other channels we usually link a couple of playlists we'll link our aldi one on this one yeah etc uh do you have a favorite before we go oh boy a favorite pairing I, the cheddar one for me was my favorite but i don't think the spread was my favorite i think it was the cherry spread and the pairing of the last one i actually Which think the fig and honey with the uh, goat cheese was my favorite okay there that was good. It. Yeah. Let us know all your pairing ideas, like I said, in the comments. That's all we have for today. But if you love Aldi or cheese or cheese pairing or us, or the video. give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.